Hey guys, it's Tom. What the hell is up right now? Today's episode of Tomcat TV, we are going to be taking a look at the spectral madness mode in Cloudy. Now, what the hell is that though? So it's kind of complicated. According to Mutable Instruments, spectral madness is the incoming signal is converted into frames of spectral data that are stored, transformed, recombined, and resynthesized as a time domain signal. Yeah, that's pretty complicated. Basically what's going on is Cloudy takes your signal, it kind of breaks it up into different frequencies, analyzes things, recombines it back together, and resynthesizes it as crazy sounding shit. Okay, so if you really want to know what's going on with the math behind all of this stuff, I've linked some stuff in the description. One of them is a paper that's basically on spectral analyzation, and the other one is a YouTube video that easily explains the fast Fourier transform, which is kind of what's going on in this mode. Um, so yeah, those are in the thing if you want to know more about that stuff. I really like this mode because it makes your sound huge and spooky, and you can really hone in on some crazy ass frequencies, like super ambient, huge, heavy shit. All right, let's go over the controls of spectral madness. Size. Changes the coefficients of a polynomial that determines how frequencies are mapped between the analysis and synthesis buffers. That's pretty complicated. Uh, it'll make sense if you watch that video that I mentioned, but basically what it does is it shifts through different frequencies that are getting filtered. Pitch. Controls the pitch. Pitch and size work together pretty well in this mode. Density is pretty cool in this mode. What it does determines how results from the analyzer are passed to the resynthesizer. If you have it below 12 o'clock, it'll kind of act as like a partial freeze based on how heavy the filter is getting hit with frequencies. So basically the louder the signal or the louder the frequency, the more it's going to get frozen. So after 12 o'clock, it'll start smushing some of your frequencies together and stretching them out for a longer duration of time. So it's kind of like turning up the reverb really, really high. Okay, so texture in this mode is kind of like it is in the other modes. It's It acts as like a filter. If you go below 12 o'clock, it kind of acts like a low pass filter, only letting low frequencies come through, but it also kind of like simplifies the resulting frequencies that are coming out. So it's very, very like, mellow <laughs> and very low but then if we go past 12 o'clock it'll emphasize more of the noisier frequencies um and it will basically like generate noise so the higher you go it gets really like harsh and annoying position works with freeze in this mode it allows you to store frozen buffers in the knob so if we go all the way to the minimum here we can freeze something and then we can turn position to the maximum, turn it off, make a new noise, freeze it again. Now we can scrub between the two and transpose between the two. It's pretty cool. And if you have a lower quality setting, you can store more and more buffers throughout the sweep of the knob. And also what's cool is if you have an expression pedal hooked up and set to control position, you can use that to, to sweep through the different things. As far as the other controls, mix is a normal mix, dry and then wet. Verb is reverb, feedback is, is the same. But this mode is very sensitive to feedback. So if you have even a little bit, it's gonna get out of control. And then in and out are the same. All right, so well, I'm gonna grab tiny mic here and um, just make sure I'm in. Yep, that's the spectral madness mode. We'll make some sounds and see what the knobs do. All right? Okay. Okay, Tom and Tiny Mike here. And we got Cloudy in Spectral Madness mode. And we're in high quality. So, what are we going to do? When I turn Cloudy on, you're going to hear the buffer coming back in as like a, a delay behind my voice. So, this, this is, is what, what that sounds, sounds like. like. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn density up a bit so that it stretches out that recorded buffer. Okay. This, this is, is what, what that, that sounds, sounds like. like.
This is what that sounds, sounds like. like. This, this is what that sounds, sounds like. like. Okay. okay. So, so now we're going to play with, play with the side, side and, and kind of change the frequencies that are going to be on the switch and changing the frequencies. Changing the frequencies. Changing stuff. Sounds very strange. Very strange. Okay. And now the answer And now I want you to make it fully what I see in the area going on. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the other side of the density knob. Further counterclockwise, we're going to be freezing different frequencies. And the further we go, it's like the simpler they are. Okay, so let's try that out. Now, now we're going to freeze. freeze. Now, now we're, we're going to freeze. And I'll go, I'll go fully wet here to really show you that. Now we're freezing stuff. So to show you the texture knob, I'm going to freeze um, one of the sounds that we make and then I can play with it and really show you how it affects the sound. So. So you can see that going further left makes the sound more simple and then going to the right really accentuates any noise that's coming through. Next I'm going to show you what the pitch knob does and how it interacts with the size knob. So let's check that out. This is cool if you put drums through it.
I sound crazy. I sound so crazy. So now I'm going to show you how the position knob and the freeze button work together. So I'm going to put position all the way down. I'm going to get some settings here to make a cool sound. And we're going to freeze it. Freeze it. Now we're going to move the position knob while frozen to the other end of its sweep. Okay. Then we're going to unfreeze, make a new sound, and freeze it again. Let's see. Cool sound. Now we'll sweep between the two using the position knob. Notice how changing Notice how changing the settings changes it for both sounds at the same time. Okay, sounds pretty cool. So the other knobs are just normal. Uh, reverb is gonna add reverb. 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 Is this my drive? I got reverb. Ah! And then feedback is gonna add feedback very fast. So. Cool sound. Cool sound. Cool sound. Cool sound. Cool sound. Cool sound. It's like it's like, instant, it's like instant rainbow machine right here. Rainbow, rainbow machine. machine. Go. <laughs> Ready to go. Oh. Go. Ready, go, 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 we're going to get some super huge sounds, like some crazy stuff. So let's check that out. Okay. Okay. Crazy. Crazy sounds. Crazy sounds. Crazy sounds. Crazy sounds. Crazy sounds. Crazy sounds. It's like I'm underwater. Somebody. Is there anyone there? Okay, and now we can do a bunch of buffers in the position knob. So let's try that out. Crazy. Okay, so you heard it cut out there. That's That means I'm ready for another buffer. Another buffer. Another buffer. Okay, now we can add another one. Making some crazy sounds. Making some crazy sounds. Ok, 
Okay, ready for another one. Crazy? 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 So basically this sound right here is the sounds that I love to make in this mode. And then I'll just crank this on super huge speakers and just kind of zone out. So that's a look at Spectral Madness on Cloudy. And if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. It's been Tom and Tiny Mike, Tiny Mike here. And I'll see you in the next one.